Hello everyone, it is I, the Obsessive Gamer, and today we are playing the Sonic Prototype Beta that was leaked out back in January, actually. So yeah, I got a new mic, by the way, and hello everyone, I am seeing your comments right here. And yeah, this is, by the way, not me playing, this is right now uh, the game's demo showing, which Sonic dies like right at the beginning there. I hope you all can properly hear me. But yeah, um, so what we're going to do is going to go through the beta here, this prototype, and we're going to be looking through some of the changes, what's going on. I don't know if I'll be able to go through all of it today, but I'll go through as much as of, of it as I can and we can progress another day. But I'll try to do my best and go through all of it. So let's begin here. I, I, all right. All right, let's begin. So this is Green Hell Zone here, of course. It begins as normal. So yeah, first off, this guy was not here, this bad Nick. Normally, if it crashes into you, Sonic would die a quick death. So they removed it like that. So yeah, going through here. And yes, this is the... Yeah, this is an interesting year of leaks. So yeah, okay, going forward from here. Let's go to our very first major difference here, which is this boulder here. This was not there in the original at all. So, yeah, and what happens if you, just, if you go in front of it, it will chase Sonic up here and before going back down. And Sonic can kind of push back, but it'll kill Sonic, though. And thank you, everyone, for coming here and watching this stuff and loving my stuff, too. I love you all, too. You guys were very helpful last time in trying to fix my mic issues. I'm glad they're good this time, by the way. So, yeah, let's actually go through the level here and not die. Right now, I could play this in debug mode right now, but... I accidentally forgot to press that, but we'll go through that later because we have to for certain sections. Green Hill Zone here is actually pretty well done. It's It has some changes, but it's not too, too different here. I'll point out what I can find and what, can, what I can see, of course. I'm planning to do a full Sonic Cut content episode 2 based on all this, so we're kind of recording for that technically. So first off, here's these spikes on the ledge here. Spikes on the ledge are... Um, we're not there actually in the original. In fact, they're pretty useless because you probably won't be going backwards. In fact, there's nothing back here if you go here, as you can see. Except this here thing, which spikes you back up. And yeah, I'm glad the mic's good. Thank God, it's good. And yeah, so let's go for forward. In many ways, the level design in Green Hill Zone is pretty complete for the most part, except for a few changes. Some things are missing, which I'll show you when we get to a certain section later up here. To Gabby Campus, was your last video the, so uh, the new um, Zelda maps one? Because, yeah, the mic's different from that one, but the one that was the older maps one was where the mic died on me, so I have to get this newer one. Alright, so yeah. So here's a just change here. When you complete a level, notice what Sonic does here. He does this jump animation. Normally he would slide off a level, but he doesn't. Instead, you could do this jump animation, which was removed. Shin was removed. I like it. Probably because they want to make make uh, Sonic look all cool and everything compared to Mario back then. But yeah, we're now in Act 2. The changes here are not as much as I would say too much different from what the first act was. But yeah, we can go forward from here and see what we can find here. And hello there too. Alright. Oh. Of course, by the way, I'm not exactly a great Sonic player, let's say. Um, I don't can't speedrun or anything, so if I die a lot, understand why, which is probably why I'm going to switch to debug mode if I die, just so we can cheat a little, so I can show this stuff. Alright, so here's the difference. You're invincible right now with Sonic. Here's what happens when it goes on the, going to spikes. You still take damage in the beta here, because of course you do, because it's not a complete game yet. Alright, let's move forward from here. Oh, here's another boulder, by the way. Which doesn't chase you here, actually. Can you push it, actually? Oh, no. If you hit it... Oh, God. Nope. That would have been bad. I could have probably pushed Sonic into the those spikes there. If I didn't jump over. The drum beats in the... Pr okay, this is from SM Pand 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 Pandanix. I'm sorry for mispronouncing your name. Fun fact. The drum beats in this prototype was supposed to be in the final, but some... Thing happened to make it quieter. 
Oh, I guess it is actually there. I didn't really notice the drum beat so much. Good, good, good call there. Seems why I like an audience here, so we can actually work together on some of this stuff. And this level's complete here. Sonic doing, of course, that beta animation again of him being able to jump up. Oh yeah, right, there's no checkpoints, by the way, at all in these. You were supposed to do it one and done, because that would have been brutal, especially with some of the other levels, if there was no checkpoints. Another boulder. Zuh! If this thing slid down right now and hit me into the spikes, that'd be pretty bad. Like right now, oh god, that, that would have been cool. That thing just bounced up too. <laughs> okay, so let's go up. There's a thing I think I want to show you up if I can find it. Let's see. Sonic levels are pretty wild with how they're arranged sometimes. So, yeah, they can... So it's sometimes a little hard to find one's path. Whoops. Is, is there a track change? All right, so all right, so oops, we bounce back there. All right, there is a. I know there's some things, some platforms that are missing apparently somewhere around here. We can find them. Yeah, that'd be nice, just because these levels are huge. I mean, they're really huge, too, and I'm bumping into everything hor horrendously here. Yeah, overall, Green Hill Zone hasn't changed too much. It's more or less the same layout. Some platforms are missing uh, that bring you down, but overall, it's a pretty similar level for what, what it, we get in the final game. And in fact, this is the only version level that actually has a boss in this prototype. I'm planning to actually do a um, a full cut content episode, much like uh, Tetrabit Gaming's, except it's a complete one, not just on the prototype, but on everything Sonic One, its concept and everything, because that what's that's what won the poll. So I'm gonna do a complete Sonic um, uh, cut content episode, actually. There you go. Yeah, I mean, Green Hill Zone's not too different. We're gonna get to more of the changes coming up soon. I love this jump. Why did they have to remove this jump? I love it so much. I want to do more Mario Cut content eventually, like there is... Oh, by the way, let's start... Let me talk about this level first before answering the question. So notice the background? There's these spaceships in the background. This was not there in the original. Freaky as hell, all of them in uniform spinning around like this. It was there in the cut content, actually, of the... If you data mine the game, but not in the final game's background at all. So it's pretty interesting to actually see them. It's freaky as hell. I mean, this level, level is pretty hellish with the lava, too, so there's that. But yeah, I plan to eventually do more Mario Kart content as well, since um, that's highly in demand. Mario 64 DS I could do, uh, always, since that's been kind of demanded of me. I mean, the prototype had a lot of good ideas in it. I like that boulder, personally, for example. Uh, th and I do like the fact that apparently if you get only 50 uh, rings, you get a life. Because there's certain areas that are brutal without the, um... Uh, without a lot of lives, like that water level, I can't remember its name, for life of me. Okay, if anyone wants to play this, if you go on the... what's the website called? Um, I think the cutting room floor and the hidden palace. The hidden palace has actually the beta available to download if you want to play this prototype. Yeah, overall this level, it has some differences too, we're gonna get to them eventually, some more differences other than the spaceships. You know, I am... Um... Okay. Oh, yeah. And yes, yeah, so Sonic jumps a little lower in this if you notice here. I don't know if he can, it's only 6 pixels after all as said here. Also, notice this thing here. This is a beta element here. Th normally, this crank went downwards instead of sideways, and this was actually in the final game's cut content, dat if data mined in, but just not used. 
it's being used here. Instead, it came downwards like this originally. So let's continue on um, here with this. If that happens again, I'm sorry, but I'll have to recheck what's going on. Maybe some some weird settings with Streamlabs that I'm using to do this that's messing up. Well, we always have some technical problem happen randomly in between all of these that I have to quickly fix up. But I know at least how to remedy it. It's good now, right, everyone? Right? Okay. So, anyways, so here's the here's a cut here's the computer self cut content here. Which is this glass thing here. To go down, you gotta slowly jump on it, and it comes down. And dear god, is this slow. I hate it. For a game this slow, normally I wouldn't care, but Sonic is so fast-paced that you're not used to going that slow. Alright. Okay, I mean, I guess this section's slow, but... Pounding on a piece of glass to, go, uh, to come down, well, yeah, that's normally not normal. Okay. I mean, yes, uh, some of the... I mean, the object placement is different, but layout is more or less the same. There's some differences here and there, which we need to look at that with a fine-tooth comb, which is what my actual cut content episode will be for, where, I'm, where I will take a fine-tooth comb, tooth comb through everything. Oh, what I did was just um, turn, uh, just go through the audio settings and reset them in Streamlabs. It's weird. I don't know. Streamlabs is freaking weird uh, for that. Yeah. So if that happens again, I'm sorry. I'm, I will reset the audio again for that. Um, I'm keeping an eye on the on the audio levels in case it suddenly spikes like crazy again. Yeah, the, the prototype was found back in January, actually. Um, I, I was going to do a cut content episode, actually, right after it came out, but then the Zelda ones came out, and that kind of took priority. I mean, this Sonic, the Sonic one uh, cut content won a, um, a, won a poll against Smash Brothers, actually. It beat Smash Brothers Melee. Smash Brothers Melee hilariously got a cut content first, however, just because I was already looking into it. This has a lot more cut content though, to it. There's a lot of cut content for it, both in concept and in the in practice. And oh, okay, I, did we hit a secret area? Oh yes, we did. Yes, we did here. Yeah, and now to go back here. All right, I guess we gotta go all the way back to be able to go back up there. This is actually not from a super, super early version. There's actually an earlier version than this uh, in, um, but we don't have access to those. This is actually from not too long prior to uh, when the game actually came out. But there's actually a good chunk of differences and the changes are gonna get more and more as the video goes forward because it's clear that they worked on the stages uh, that come first, first before they moved on to actually complete the game, of course. Yes, and, and I know for some of you, this, some of this stuff might be look similar, but it's um, eh, eh, but at the same time, eh, there is changes here and there. So for it, yeah, the UFOs, for example, again are are here. Okay. All right, so yeah, I think we're. I mean, the, the level has its changes here and there, but this is, I guess, basically a similar uh, layout as the final games, except for object layouts and stuff. In this level, that is, it's gonna get crazy for some of the later ones of how different it is. But yes, that is true. This is the only playable prototype we have gotten, actually, of Sonic One. It was considered a huge deal just because of that. We had over Sonic 2, Sonic 3, but n didn't have for Sonic 1, strangely enough. And this is the most interesting one of them all just because of how this was the place you test concepts. Because the first game in the series. And yes, I got distracted. Whoop. I thought for a second they didn't put a spike there for me to jump over. Okay, I did not expect that. There. Uh, 
Okay, I died there. Okay, what I'm gonna do right now is we're gonna actually exit the level for a moment here. And we're gonna ac access debug mode. Because we can. So to access debug mode, you press A and start in this. And here we go. So I'm gonna talk about debug mode before we continue. The level order is actually different here. This is probably what they kind of wanted to do before they changed it up. So we were in Marble Zone, but the Labyrinth Zone, which comes later on, was placed before it. So, as such, what we have here is most of the levels, but the only level we're missing is actually the final zone, which was not made at all yet. But we're going to continue on through Marble Zone right now. And by the way, we're going to enter debug mode, and I'll show you what neat stuff of debug mode is here. Alright, so here's debug mode. Sonic can become a lot of different items, as can be seen here. And he can spawn them. Like, he can spawn a spring here right now. You can spawn fireballs. Even bricks. You can summon a lot of things. You can summon this whole lava piece, actually. Which is pretty insane. But debug mode exists in the final game. Oh, by the way, this is a beta enemy. Wasn't actually in the final game, either. So yeah, you could become a lot of things here. And it's a way you could traverse, actually cheat and go and cross through walls. So I'm just going to use it to get back to where we were, actually. Uh, rather than play the whole level again and bore you guys to death over it. Yeah, so I'm just trying to find my place of where I actually was here. Oops, we went way past. Okay. Okay, so yeah, we weren't actually too far from the ending, so we're just gonna complete the level here and go to the third act. Which you'll see probably another major change, I believe, there too. Ha! I wish he had a Sonic Maker. We'd probably make better eh, better Sonic games than the Sonic team, team themselves, actually. Maybe not Christian Whitehead, but definitely the Sonic team. Alright, let's move forward here. So this is the third act, which we'll see what differences lie in this level here. I know the, I, there's one... Oh, yeah, one major thing I know of here is that... Sonic uh, is that there's no boss actually in this um, in any any of the other levels outside of Green Hill Zone because they haven't made any any more of the bosses actually. Sonic Maker, someone. I hope one day we see that, but at the same time I kind of want more games by Christian Whitehead if they allow him. Oh, by the way, here's another one of those things you gotta jump on to come down. Which takes a crazy long time for it to come down. Ugh. It should just done one jump and it just slides all the way down. Like, yeah. Okay, it's down. Okay. But yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I'm just thinking if we, Sonic uh, Maker came out, I don't know if we even get any more 2D Sonics. I like Sonic Mania a lot. So yeah, that's the problem if that, if that happened. But maybe they would just still make them too. Who knows? Oh really? Oh yeah, Splats the Rabbit was used in Sonic Mania. They actually use a lot of beta elements actually, from what I remember in Sonic Mania. That's a game I'd like to one day see if there's any of its own um, cut content. Come on, I want to jump up, I need this block to come up. There you go. Alright. So yeah, moving forward from here. We're looking for some other major differences if we can find them here. I mean, Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was terrible of me. Okay, we're gonna skip to where we were using debug mode. Heh <laughs> Because cheating is fun. Yeah, being a block is even more hilarious than it should be. Alright. There you go. In fact, I just brought us to a bunch of these things here. And thank you! Oh yeah, one thing I noticed here, I'm not sure if the climb up is actually any different from the game, but this feels a lot harder to climb up than compared to the final games. I don't remember being that tedious. This version isn't actually slower, but the camera is slower. It actually has a hard time tr keeping track of Sonic, actually. And I think we went to the wrong area, actually. Let me go forward, actually. Yeah, this is where we are. There you are. Okay.
Okay. What I want to see is how it looks like without actually a proper boss fight. Will it just have a sign at the end to complete the level? Because I've heard there's no boss outside of the first egg, man. So I want to see what there is actually here. Yeah, oh yeah, there's only a sign to complete the level actually. Ha! So yeah, there's no boss fight here. It just ends like that. Neat. Alright, welcome to Sparkling Zone, which is the beta name of this zone. And the background is totally different. Originally had these hills and uh, dark buildings, but this looks like Shinjuku. Let's go with that, Shinjuku. Or, sh or yeah. Yeah, this is full of lights and everything. I love this version so much. Why did they get rid of this background? I love it so much. Maybe they were afraid to give someone seizures or something. By the way, oh, did you notice that? The camera couldn't follow Sonic. Yeah, the camera was kind of slow back then, it couldn't follow Sonic at all. Yeah, we're getting to some more changes here. Oh, and here's here's an, here's another one already. Whoops, uh, let me get back up. That was kind of a disaster there. Let's go back up here and let me show you. Ow, 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 okay. This is actually kind of a death trap here, so it's kind of hard to arrange myself. Come on, without dying, there. Okay, so here's a beta element here. Actually, I'm gonna need to go into this to show you in full force. By the way, cope, guys, cope. I don't know why I'm saying it, but cope. Um, yeah, so yeah, this is a thing that was not in the final game, which was this, um, ball, sp the spikes of death. You kind of had fireballs of death in Mario, but you never had anything similar to it in Sonic. I guess this was their equivalent here, and this was not in the final game at all. So I'm moving forward. So, let, so trying to go up here, I can't. You know why? Because there was a spring originally here to bring me up. There's actually no way, even if I try to do this here, this thing knocks me back here. Because of course it does. So technically we'd be stuck, because this part's actually incomplete. So let's um, use this to go back up. up. There you go. There you go, we're back up. Alright, so going forward from here. Oh, by the way, in case some of you have noti haven't noticed, there's actually no um, rings to go into special areas either in this. So yeah, there's that there. Okay. Honestly, I can't get enough of that background. I don't know who thought at Sonic on the Sonic team thought. Let's remove this for a duller background. This thing's amazing, especially with the music. I don't know what I pressed. Yes. Okay, shouldn't have done that. I know there were some enemies around here that are not here right now. So, yeah, that's actually a, a difference here. I remember it was this enemy that I kept crashing into when I used to come through here. So it's a bit different there, too. Alright, let's just try to pass this. Or just cheat go past it. There you go. Alright. Playing this in debug mode to show off the level, the prototype is interesting in its own fashion. Alright, so... So right now, I'm not sure when I'm gonna exactly release the Sonic Cut content episode. Yeah, actually, actually before I answer my own question. Yeah, I feel the music fits um, this a lot better than... Eh, than what it did for the final version. I feel it was designed for this setup here. It looks perfect for such a glamorous city. You say, oh God, what is wrong with me? I can't even get through that. Yeah, I'm sorry if I if you don't like me using the debug mode, but it's fun to just get past this because I want to just this is a showcase more than an actual playthrough of the game. Thank you very much, I try my best to be a good YouTuber for you guys. I mean, I'm now doing streams of, to show full prototypes of games even. Something I used to not do for you guys. So anyways, yeah, we're in the next zone. It's apparently skipped the last two acts apparently for some reason. 
I know they're in the data, we're gonna go ahead and play them back when we're actually done this playthrough of the demo itself. I know this was originally for the British, uh, this British newspaper or whatever. I don't know the actual source, but apparently this is the demo they got, so they only showcased the ones they wanted to show. So they skipped two of the zone, two of the acts actually. So yeah, let's um, go through this. This level is actually really different actually from the final one, so it's yeah, as the levels aren't so uh, which what's, what's the word I'm thinking of linear, let's just say. Yeah, there's a lot. It's a lot more platform here. Which, if I could get to one of those sections, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about, actually. Uh, yeah, I mean the design of this just get more and more different. This one's is actually very different, actually, from what the final games is already. Well, I screwed myself from going up there, and let's go to the side. Oh, wow, I... Yeah, I think that part was actually quite different from what the final games was, actually. Yeah. So yeah, let's just uh, zip to where I was, actually. Or we could take the high road instead, and see what's up here instead. So here's actually a, a difference. This is actually a lot more platformier than what it was in the final section, I believe, this part. Yeah, which I think they put more smoother platforms, I think. There were longer ones that went across. But yeah, trying to go across here to get this one up, I guess. Like, yeah, there was like no collision there. I would have died if I didn't save myself there. Like, wow. I just fell right through. You can see there's not collision in certain parts. There's... This level is actually quite incomplete. In fact, there's not a single enemy here. Have you noticed that? Not a single enemy, and there's a lot of collision that's missing because I just fall through random stuff as you can see here. Alright, let's see. I mean, there's I mean, there's still rings, there's, so there's some objects in this level, but it's just not enemies. Oh shit, I should not have done that. Yeah, normally there's, I remember these things you teeter on top to get on, uh, get higher in the levels, but those are not present at this point too. And I don't think this transparent thing was there in the original. I am not sure. I'm gonna go up here instead this time. Alright, so moving forward here. Alright, let's see what's up here. You know, technically going from those flashy, um... From the flashy background of the last level to this more calmer city. It's nice actually. I wish I could kept the last one just because the transition's nice. Anyways, let's complete the level. And hello, welcome for joining to joining this broadcast here. And notice the signpost is actually off level. It's actually a bit lower than it should be here. Yeah. Yeah. This is, you can tell how incomplete this level is. Oh, and the demo is done, by the way. But the prototype, but this prototype's not over. So let me explain what happened there. They only actually made this demo for up to, for review purposes. So they only gave the levels they were confident in people actually watching it. But, uh, but apparently they skipped over a lot of areas that they had complete, which you could easily access through the through this menu here. So let's actually complete. Marble Zone, which was actually skipped over here. Let's... Okay, so... No, wait, we did Marble Zone, my mistake! <laughs> my mistake, my mistake. Let's actually go back. Uh, it was, yeah, Starlight Zone. There you go. Act 2 here. Act 2, yes. Because, yeah, it, it only did Act 1 here. And notice the camera can't follow Sonic very well at all, man. Alright, let's go back up here. The layout, yeah, I mean, this level, just like the last act, doesn't have any enemies here either. I don't know if there's something below here. Maybe we should actually try to go up here using these platforms right now, which is a daunting task on its own, it seems. 
Yeah, there's like nothing to go through. So let's see, we're gonna die. Oh, nope, no, no, it's actually safe. We'll go on, we'll go down. I don't feel like rolling back here. I mean, yeah, the layout is just is diff more and more different as you go forward. Here, I think there was a teetering piece here, but it's not here actually, so if I jump down, it's probably game over. Let's see. Let's take a leap of faith. Nope, it's actually would be game over, so we're gonna hover up here using the debug. Cause yeah, there's missing ob- whoops, so oh, man, Sonic just, just fluttered. Yeah, cause yeah, um, a lot of objects that are supposed to help you get up are not actually loaded yet into this, since it's only a prototype after all. So yeah. Say, let's go here, and there's a there's a thing of death up there, from what I'm seeing. Can I go up there without dying? Let's hope. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Looks like that was actually improper placement to go up. Huh. Dead end. This is actually the end of the level. There's no actual finish here. Well then, this prototype for ya, for y'all. It's so damn it completely. They didn't even bother putting a level complete sign here for it. So we're gonna go back to the debug menu and access Act Three and see what's different about that here. Okay, let's go to Act 3 of this zone. Okay. I know this doesn't have a boss, let alone probably any way to complete it. God, this camera cannot follow Sonic at all. It's just hilarious. Bef I, I like to call this era before blast processing was put into place. Yeesh, there's a lot of leaps of faith you gotta do. Yeah, that spike ball ride thing was cut content, actually. I just forgot to mention that. But yeah, just look at that. Before Blast processing, the camera couldn't follow Sonic, and then it discovered it, and then it competed with Nintendo. That's the legacy of Sonic the Hedgehog and Sega. Here, man, just leaps of faith. Anyways, yeah, there's no boss fight actually in any of the acts outside of Green Hill Zone, so yeah, there's nothing really none for this either. There's no way, yeah, there's so many leaps of faith, you gotta actually go into this debug form to actually find your way around. Like, yeah, let's use this. Oh wait, notice this thing? Yeah, this thing's supposed to be in the level to actually get you around, but it's not. So that's, there's a lot of ways to die if you don't actually cheat your way through the level here. Yeah, like right now. There's probably nothing down there, but let's take a leap of faith. Yep, I would die if I did that. Yep. And yeah, I'm right now, in case some of you have joined late, yeah, debug mode lets you go through many items, and you could even spawn something too. Like, um, let's spawn this thing here, for example. Like, normally you would use this to actually get to certain sections, along with the spike ball that was at the other end, to make Sonic jump, but it's not in this, not here, even though it's supposed to be. They haven't loaded it into the level yet. So yeah, let's continue on and trying to complete the level as we hope to with what we have at our disposal here. Thankfully the debug menu was here. And yeah, leap of faith. I think we're at the end of the level. Okay, the end of the level is actually up here, I think. Probably. Is it? Yeah, because I can I don't know. Because yeah, there is actually... Yeah, it's the end of the level, and it won't it won't actually close off the gap like it did in the last one, actually. RTX, yeah, kind of is the modern day blast processing. AMD could do exactly what Nvidia does, but it doesn't ever use the RTX form after all. I have an Nvidia card with RTX, by the way, in case any of you were wondering. So, anyways, now that this level is complete, let's go back into the um, into the menu to actually access more of the levels that we couldn't through normal gameplay. Which will be Sparkling Zone 2, which was not accessible through the regular demo either. Yeah, Act 2 of it was not there, Act 1 was. Which, by the way, notice how hard it is for Sonic to climb up there? Man. But yeah, back to this flashy city again to see these backgrounds, because we didn't complete um, the... Couldn't complete the other two acts because the demo apparently skipped from Act 1 to the Act 1 of the next zone.
And, oh, the glitchy HUD um, is actually a part of debug mode. That just kind of gives some information. I think that might be hex code, actually, for if you're using a hex editor, you can change the values of the game end. Um, I'm guessing the developers use that to change things depending on what Sonic does. Like, Sonic jumps, it does changes the code like that, as you can see here. Yeah, I'm right now going through this infinite piece of hell. Go okay, good, it ends. I thought, I thought for a second it's gonna loop. As you can see, there's actually nothing in this, no enemies in this level either. Also, another, another incomplete level. I couldn't actually go up, so I had to use something to actually bring myself up there. This is the prototype. This part was not shown to people who actually got the demo to play originally, because it's so incomplete, but it was in the data still, clearly. Oh, by the way, no Sonic sticks to the ceiling? Let me show you that again, actually. Yeah, in this demo, if you actually roll into the ceiling like this, Sonic sticks to the ceiling. <laughs> it's a good way to avoid enemies. There were enemies there, actually, but there were none, of course, because there's no enemies loaded yet. Just a basic design of a level with no, no way to traverse certain sections of it, actually. Yeah, like, I'm sure there's some, some balls of death here, but there's none right now, actually. Actually, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, this could have actually been a seizure-inducing level. In fact, if you have seizures and watching this video, I'm so sorry. In fact, I might put a seizure description in the seizure warning in the description after watch after this video, because yeah, um, yeah, this could this could have caught been the Sega's Porygon le uh, level. I think we're at the end of the level, cause unless there's something above. Nope. Yeah, end of the level, no exit either for this one. Yeah, there's everything's kind of missing here. Springs, platforms, everything. This is just a basic level design for this part. All right, we're gonna go to Act Three of this now by accessing the the menu again. Okay, so Act Three of this. We're actually making good progress through this. It's actually going pretty nicely. Okay, the background's quite different now. This is a much simpler background. I think somebody did an even older one. Now this is all no, it's all below. This, we're just very high off the ledge. So this is the top of it where we could see stars. What are the stars actually? Okay, going down here. Good luck, as the sign says. And I hope I do, because this place is hard to traverse with actual platforms to go through. I'm oh god, I'm actually accessing it without, de without the debug menu on. I'm going to go back out, actually, access this level with the debug menu on. Let's try this, because, yeah, we cannot traverse this without the debug menu. Yeah, I guess, I guess the music does go back on. I, I like it better than Project 64, which just cuts out the music whenever you go and pause. Yeah. Anyways, continuing forward here. Yeah, so yeah, the level, as I was saying here, um, lacks everything, pretty much. So yeah, we have to use the debug when you get through anything. Like, this level's very complicated. Oh god, this would have been instant death if I didn't do that. Okay, so yeah, I don't know why my screen lab is doing that problem there. I, it's weird because it hasn't done that before. I feel like you hit a problem every time whenever that happens. I apologize every time it happens. And I thank you all for sticking around even with that happening. But there should be a spike. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna play the developers right. I'm gonna play developer here and put a spring here. There you go. Let's put a proper spring where it should be actually. I think probably here. Okay, messed up, come on. Okay, spring is here. And, yeah, that's how it should be. Yeah, so yeah, I, I would die if I fell there. There's like nothing in between here, like nothing at all. There's something up here, actually, if we go up here. So, yeah, but I hit a dead end, so we're gonna have to cross again. Okay, can you hear me better right now? Um, I'm gonna talk louder. Sorry about that. I quieted down for a bit. Okay, I mean, they didn't change the volume, but yeah. Um, yeah, so yeah, we're now at the completion of the level, I guess, since we're at the very end here. And from what I'm seeing, no sign like usual. So, we're done this zone. We're gonna go to... Yeah, the level design's different, and there's no enemies, objects, or anything to even be able to complete with the level. So we're going to now enter the next zone here through the debug menu. Okay, let's go for the one the stage I and myself and everyone hates, Labyrinth Zone, because it's full of water. 
and I hate water levels. Except for the water level in Ocarina of Time. I love that shit. Okay, welcome to this level, which the background I can see is different. Normally it's a ruins kind of look, but here it's actually a cave, which I guess that's sunlight beaming in. But yeah, um, let's go forward. Yeah, normally you're supposed to be a boss at the end of uh, that zone, but of course there's no boss, and I guess that's how you get to it. I can't remember that boss very well there. But yeah, this level, uh, at this point, some, you know, some things are kind of different. Like, I think the duels here, I mean, these crystals look different actually in the beta. It, they made them more complicated, I believe, in the final version. But yeah, I don't think this part was here, however, this little spike thing. This looks so off. So damn straightforward thing here. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's still three. Yeah, I mean, like the last one, there's no enemies either. Probably no platform mean objects either to get to certain sections. Favorite game of all time? I actually have five favorite games of all time Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, Metroid Prime, Mario Galaxy. Metal Gear Solid 3, and... I can't remember the fifth one. Well then. Yeah, I can't remember the fifth one, actually. So yeah, here's... This. Oh, by the way, notice there's no water in this level? There's only supposed to be water in this level. Hey, there's no water. And it's because they haven't made water probably yet in this. But yeah, I remember you're supposed to go up here and get... And because the fact that your jumps can go higher, you're, you're able to you get higher up here, but you can't because there's no water. So yeah, we're going to yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's a, it's a boring zone, but it's but it's less annoying at least. I will say that much. So yeah, let's climb up here because there's no way of actually going up here. Oh, by the way, in case you're wondering why the rings are black, it's because there's a mess. The colors are messed up, I guess, here. The... I don't know why. I'm not that technical to know that. Yeah, I would I would prefer to play this version without the water if I can. Just bring back the objects and I'll play this version any day. I want someone to hack this to be true. I will play the shit out of it. I will stream it for you guys and, and tell, tell you guys how much I enjoy it. Because I hate the original with no water. I guess we're now at the end because... Uh, there's nothing. It's kind of weird. It kind of looks very different too, actually. Now that I really think about it, there's no um. Yeah, no, it's more of a flat platform, I think, where the signs supposed to go, but there's nothing here. Yeah, it's a pallet there. That's what the, the words I was thinking of there for earlier. Anyways, let's go into the second act of it because there's no way to complete it. We'll go to the debug menu as always. I feel these. I feel these um. Uh, these levels are actually more, um, more shorter because the fact that they actually don't have the comp uh, any way to complete them, so they probably didn't, they didn't in many ways they didn't make them as complicated, so they take long to get to certain places. So they're a little shorter actually, just because the routes are a little easier to get through, or maybe because I'm cheating with the debug me. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. And oh right, the fact that I'm not dying constantly on this water level constantly here. Can you guys hear me properly? That's what I'm asking you right now here. Because yeah, you guys seem to be having some trouble hearing me here. Yeah, give me a sign if you guys can hear me properly here. As we go forward here, and I can't get up there, let's Climb it like this. Okay, that's strange. Why did the audio settings change? Let's crank it a little louder here. Okay, how is my audio now? And do I sound better? I just brought it up like two decibels here. I don't want the thing from last time where it got crazy loud for everyone and it got ear leading the inducing it bad. Oh yeah, I guess the music is kind of loud for this section. Let me just bring it down a smidge. There you go. Okay, I think this is better. I hope it's better now. Me the me
Okay. Okay, I can brought the volume for the level down and Okay, and I guess we're at the end of the level again. Nothing here again. As you can see, the level designs are very different overall here too. Okay, good. We're at a good balance. We're gonna keep this probably forever now. <laughs> I'm not changing a damn thing. <laughs> okay, so yeah, end of the level. Which is very similar to the last one actually. Which shows that um these levels are not very complete at all, as we get further and further. Okay, now we're gonna go to the last zone here. Now that we're actually completed, um, Labyrinth Zone. Oh shit, not, not Green Hill Zone. We're not doing Green Hill Zone, because we did Green Hill Zone earlier. Okay, actually wait, that was Stage 2, right? There's still Stage 3 for Labyrinth Zone. My mistake. Let's look at Stage 3 to complete Labyrinth Zone before we hit the last zone here. And yeah, the camera's losing Sonic again. Dear God, where am I even going? Okay, that was... Heck. Just heck. Yeah, wow. Yeah, this is how incomplete this all is. It just threw me up there. And we're trapped, I think? Oh no, we're not. And the camera's doing its own thing again and just throwing me wherever it wants to. Wow. Wow, I'm just thrown back here. This level's... this zone is a special... this act is super incomplete. What do you think of Nintendo release Ocarina of Time Beta for the 35th anniversary? Depends on definition of beta. Beta prototype? Probably not happening. Would be nice, but I doubt they'll take care about us in the cut content community. If they release Ura Zelda as we want it, then I can believe that. Okay, we're at least on track now and... Okay, I thought this is another thing of death there. Actually, what's underneath? I want to check here. Okay, nothing too different. I feel a lot of this stuff is actually way more repeated than it normally is intended to be, actually, compared to the final versions. I know it's all water, practically, in the final versions. Oh, by the way, notice there's no background anymore? The background's, like, completely gone. Yeah, we had this cave background, now there's, like, nothing. We're either deep in the cave or they just didn't bother with the background. I, mean, I think we're trapped here now, so we're gonna have to clip through again. Oh boy, this is a labyrinth. Without platforms, this place becomes pretty deaf, actually. Wow, okay, yeah. Yeah, let's try to go find a way through this level. Yeah, they did have a black background, but that makes sense. I mean, it's 8-bit. 8-bit can only do so much with a background, after all. Yeah, normally water is supposed to be here to get you through, and... Huh. Dead end. I don't actually know where the ending is here right now. This is actually something else. Oh, right, now remember, the boss fight for Eggman started out here, normally, and you had to climb up, uh, I think, through here normally, but of course, it's not done, it's not complete, so you don't do that. And I think it loops, actually, constantly, as you keep going higher and higher. I think that's how the boss battle went. I'll do a proper comparison when we actually do the cut content episode for this episode. Yeah, I think at this point I would say I would rather have the water back just because there's so much to do in this level. Let's get out of this damn level and go to the next and final zone. Okay, okay, here we go. Clockwork Zone, which is um, the beta name of the... what was it called? Something Scrap Zone. If someone remembers it, please tell me. <laughs> I can't remember the name for it. I'm bad with names. Okay, let's go to it. Clock Orc Zone. Oh, I love how there's no W actually here. I think I heard they couldn't actually fit a W into the... Um, into the... memory of this. It was kind of full, so they skipped on the W. Why? I don't know. So here's the first major difference. Normally it's an industrial level, but the background is literally just using pallets from the level right now, because I guess it is. Yeah, so yeah, going forward here... This, I believe, is going to be a messy level like the last one, if not worse. Um, and already I kind of can't get up. Maybe if I just kind of... Yeah, I guess that way. That's one we can get up through. Okay, this is definitely not supposed to be like that. Look at that. Look at that clip. Look at that. Look how messed up those graphics are. Yes, it's Scrap Brain Zone. Thank you very much. I was thinking about the other way around. I thought it was Brain Scrap Zone. Yeah, so yeah, if we go through here... 
Okay, wow, this level is just weirdly uh, put together. You know, th the fact that the, the background uses the same um, tile set as the foreground makes this confusing of what's foreground and what's background. There's no depth now. Oh, shit, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, so yeah, uh, level is horrendously incomplete. Like right now, I'm trapped here. There's like no way of going back up. Actually, let's see what items are supposed to be in this level. And what the hell is this thing? <laughs> what is this thing? Let's load it actually and see what happens. Well, that's nightmare fuel right there. Guys, I, I, I'm sorry for nightmare fuel, but yeah. That exists. Yeah, I'm playing debug mode because you cannot beat some of these levels in their prototype without it being in there. Yeah. I know it's probably glitched, but apparently I think I saw a video where it showed that the developers even had this thing loaded onto their own monitors, so that's interesting. No, I can't... Well, I... There's probably a way to disable the background if you go into hex editor, but I'm not that technical. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, let's move forward. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of actually traps here where you just... Where you just fall and can't get back up without using the debug bomb. Okay, at least these things are in the level still. Which... Yeah. I mean, I do like the fact that it looks like a factory because of the background. I mean, I wish there was a little bit more depth to it. Okay, dead end, or is there something I could... Yeah, no, there's actually a way up. Probably, I don't even know how one was supposed to get up there with how high that ledge was. This level is actually super different, actually, from the final version. It's actually quite different to compare. Oops. Oh, okay, that would have been instant death. Let's use momentum to get back up there. Okay. Oh yeah, I guess it could be a glitched up version of the crab meat. Ah. Oh, what? Okay, wow. Um, yeah, I think we hit a dead end here. I'm more... I don't know. Because, yeah, I'm not seeing any more level here. Uh, yeah. I think that's the end of that level there. Like, wow. Uh, I guess this is where you would technically end the level, actually, with probably the sign would be here, but there's nothing here, actually. So, yeah. Next... Oh, next act. Let's go to the next act here. Now, we're actually going to complete actually all this. I'm actually surprised. So, going from uh, the background using nothing but the foreground's um, tile set, we went to just a simple blue background because the developer just said, screw it. <laughs> Sonic Team, but yeah. Sonic Team. At least they were creative back then. Super creative back then. So, normally this thing would suck you up and go up and take you up, but that thing's not active, so we're going to have to... Oh, we're not in debug mode. We're gonna, we're gonna, let me exit and go back in debug mode here. I hate when I forget to do that. Clock Orc Zone 2. <laughs> I ne it never gets old. Okay. Let's try to do that again. I'm going up there. Okay, a separate level. I think these things are supposed to spin, but it's not. In fact... Yeah. Oh, Okay, we're back. Okay, yeah. Sorry again, Streamlabs being stupid as usual. Apparently we hit a weird glitch here where Sonic doesn't die. Notice I'm at the bottom level and Sonic doesn't actually um, die. Yeah. Yeah, they probably didn't even kill, make any kill boundaries actually here. So yeah, as such... Um, we have just a bunch of random platforms here. Let's go back up, because 
Yeah, we're trying to discover how to navigate this level without just scrolling through it, without through all just all through Diva. I do love these spinny things. I don't remember if they were in the final version. Are we actually at the end of the level? Because I oh no, there's more level. So what's this enemy here? I see some there's a there's a pro beta enemy here. Oh, it's the same one we saw that was nightmare inducing, like the final level. I mean, like the last level again. Yeah. So going forward. Oh, by the way, if you fall off a ledge, you just get spawned at the top. This is... crazy. Notice this? Yeah... There's the Sonic Pinball. The Sonic Pinball right there. I think this is the end of the level, actually, right at this point. Let me just actually stand there where I hope, think it's supposed to be. Normally, this will be a, 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 a... No, this is the end of the act. So let's go to the next act for this. Okay, so... Okay, stage 3 doesn't work! They haven't even finished this level. And there's no final zone. Okay, so there's one other thing I wanna, um... I wanna show off here. And this is the special stage. Normally there's a bunch of them, but there's only one right now in this beta. Let me show it to you here. So it's a very generic one, actually. So it's basically... Um, just, it, yeah, it's just a very generic one like the ones you see in the game, just only one of them, one style in this case. My control's kind of weirdly compared to what I'm normally used to here. Okay, I, I don't I don't think there's a Chaos Emerald actually to collect yet in here. Yeah, Sonic jumping through the speed of light now instead of speed of sound. Trying to go so fast that he hits light speed. I know, I'm sorry if this is... Yeah, I'm trying to get to that ledge there, but yeah. This thing is... controls really weirdly compared to the final versions actually. Yeah, like, you can't really even hop around so much. Well, it's not a test zone, this... I mean, a test zone, for, I guess, for the sp springs... I mean, for the special zone, but... Maybe, but not for an actual zone zone. Ugh, we were so close to getting in there. I want to just get to that end there. <laughs> Let's complete the stream. I feel it will be a complete stream once we actually get to the end of it and see... What's in place of the Chaos Emerald? Ugh, so close, so close. Oh, we got through, finally. So notice here, there's no um, Chaos Emerald. There's instead of a green thing there. Probably a placeholder before they made a Chaos Emerald, as you can see. So yeah, let's try to complete this now. Now, which direction do we go? That's the question here. Yeah, this is... This, this thing's much crazier than I remember it ever being. I feel like it just gets faster and faster how much it spins. Yeah, um... Yeah, I can't even get to the end of that. Wow. Just wow. This thing. Okay, we're gonna, um, stop that there. Wait! Oh, that- Oh, it just pressed pause and it actually fixed that. It actually fixed it. I just pressed pause and it fixed it. Wow. This level, yo. Okay, there's the... I see I see where the ending is. Just press pause every time and it just slows it down. This is a very incomplete stage, clearly. I know, I'm sorry if you're getting dizzy watching this. Too, because I'm getting dizzy watching this. Ugh. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get out of this. I cannot even complete it. Okay, there's one last thing I want to show you here. So apparently, if you hold the B button while you're in this menu, it doesn't matter what level you select. Like, let's just go to this Marvel Zone Stage 3 and press it with B. Okay, it didn't work, but apparently there's a way to load up a weird version of... of, um... Yeah, there... no, no, that's not it. Uh, 
Okay, I've tried to load this. Basically, there's this very weird version of Act 3 of Green Hill Zone, which is used as a test for the ending, some believe. Okay, let me see if, it, if there's a way to access that. Nope, there's no way. Okay. I, yeah, I accessed it, accessed it by accident before, and I said press the B button to go into that, but I can't, so... Yeah, I don't know how to do that. It doesn't look really that different, but apparently you start off like way at the top of it. But yeah, I think this is where we're going to end the prototype demo here. This is... This was every level. I showed you every level of the game. If this prototype. Sorry for what OBS did with with just cranking the mic too crazy for some reason sometimes randomly. I'm gonna try to fix that for next time. And thank you very much for watching. I'll be planning to do a cut content of this very soon, giving you a full detailed version of this very, very soon as planned. Potentially the next video, in fact. So everyone, please subscribe and like this video. And yes, I was holding the B button by the way, in case you're wondering. And um I'll be planning to be back very soon. So everyone, thank you for watching.